All right, all right, party people. This your man Griff doing a quick video on some printing. That's right. This time we're going to be talking about how to separate your pages using Adobe Acrobat DC. A lot of you have a single tray printer because of the printer shortage and you don't know where you're going to find or if you're going to find a actual um, second tray for your printer, whether it's this printer back here or any other printer. So um, a lot of people also are a little confused on how to set the, other, the second tray up. So I pulled the second tray, I mean the tray out of my other printer. In this here, you see this little green tab right here. This one right here. All you do is you kick that and it pulls back to make the tray legal. Letter, legal, and then this thing here you have to pull that back and over here it says legal so this is legal and then down here letter so when you kick this back in you have to adjust this there we go oh okay boom and you adjust that to fit the legal i mean the letter so that's how what you got to do with the tray. So that means when you're printing letter and you leave it like this all the way closed, then you do the legal. You pull that back, pull that back, put your legal paper in, and then you're off to the races and all of that. So you got your legal paper. Your legal paper fits in there nice and neat. Get that wrong. And then your letter. All right. You got that? So, all that's done. No, I ain't throwing my tray. <laughs> all right. So, what has to happen here is you have to take your document and separate letter from legal. You can buy page separator or any of those and that's gonna cost you 50 or more bucks or something like that. I don't know if it's a yearly subscription or anything, but I don't feel like doing all that. Um, well, I don't have to because I got the dual tray printer over there. But for those of you who don't, here's a, here's the steps to separate your legal and letter from a document that you may have. Keep in mind, if you use, if in snap docs, snap docs typically typically provides a link to do that on some, on some of the documents on some of your loan packages sometimes if the company provides that um so what we do is we share this out so of course that ain't what i want that ain't what i want here's what i want <laughs> all right so this is the document we used a couple of weeks ago um to go over how to do um, your signing with um, your documents and showing where you need to sign, where they need to sign, all of that. So you have your document and you want to see what pages you have. In Adobe DC, I believe in a free version, I know in a paid version, you have the option to hit organize pages. You hit organize pages and in organize pages, it allows you to see all of the pages that are in that document. In this case, it's 64 of them. So from there, what you do is you can hit um, control to select them individually. Like this here is illegal. And what you got to also do is look to see which pages are legal, which pages are letter. Um, this thing down here allows you to zoom in so you can see a little bit clearer which pages are which. So I'll zoom this in so y'all can see you can tell this is a little slender. This here got a little thickness on it. So what you're doing in this case is getting all the thick pages. That's slender, that's slender. Maybe I shouldn't say thick, okay. That's non-slender, non-slender. So I'm gonna go through and pull all these pages. And yes, you can go this way also. 
Boom. Boom. Get all these pages. And make sure you hold the control button down when you're doing it individually. And then paying attention to make sure you're not selecting the wrong page. All right. And let's say you end up hitting those by accident. All you got to do is just hold the control and then unselect them. All right. So that should be all of the pages. You can go back through and look at them again. Look for the slender ones versus the non slender ones. All right. And then you hit this button here, extract. Extract pages as separate file. And it doesn't automatically combine them. So these are going to be completely separate pages, but you're going to have all of these individual pages. And you'll see that in a second. So you hit extract. You pick an area and you create a folder. So let's just call this, it's in, let's just say it's inside the Mr. and Mrs. Jones folder. So it's in the Jones folder. So I'm going to just put letter. Go in here, and that's the folder where I want to dump them at. And all those pages get dumped in there. So now I'm going to do the legal. And then I go hold the control button down, find all my legal papers. So looking at these real carefully. All right, slender, slender, slender. All right, slender and slender. And slender, I think it should be about 11 of them. Now, I might be missing some, I have to count. So that is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yep, because I've already practiced on this. So 11 of them. I'm gonna do that, extract, create another folder, legal, and then boom, select that, and it says select it, and there you go. So it drops them all in there. So now this is where these folders are at. This is your original document. So as you see, there's your legal, you know if I yep, I got the preview over here. And then here's your letter. Okay. So now from here, you're going back to Adobe, you hit the close button. And now you want to combine those files. So you want to combine all your letter. So you just click on the combine option, hit add files, not add open files, because anything that's open, that's what it's talking about doing. I'm going to do the legal first since it's the shortest. You can hit control A to select all of them, or you can just click down here and then drag up and it can select all of them. And it opens all of them up. It opens them in order that you um, saved them. So there's number two, there's number six, there's number eight, I believe. And I don't know why it's flipping so quick, but you got it. So now you hit combine. And what it's going to do is combine all of those files together in the order that they're supposed to be in. So now you have all of the files, all 11 together. And then you can just go from here and print. Now, let me show you something. So if you have a single tray printer, well, you really shouldn't have that problem because if you have this option, select print source by PDF page size, and you're going to tray one, it should pull the legal, it should pull it with no problem and print it out. So you shouldn't have that problem. But if for some reason you're having a problem getting it to print, even though you have print source by PDF page size, and it doesn't print it correctly on the PDF, which it shouldn't, it should work. Unselect that, go down to page setup, and then select legal. 
and now it'll print legal size, but it should that you should not have to do that. I normally keep mine on default letter. And then boom. So now from here, it's going to print back here all these pages. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Seem like when I have this zoom going, this start um stuff gets processed a little bit slower on my computer. So no, it doesn't normally print this slow. It's a lot slower, you know, one it's doing that. And um, because the zoom is going to video, it's taking a little bit more time to process. But as you can see, this is legal size. legal all right so all 11 pages legal now you swing back over and you do the same for the letter you hit combine add files you go to your letter folder control a to select all of them just to take a little bit of time to pull them in well that is Oh, a lot quicker than I expected. All right. Boom. Now you're going to hit combine. So now you got all your legal, I mean, all, all your letter. So you got your letter here. You click on print. You can tap through here, double check, make sure I ain't going through all 53. So like I said, I've been, I've done this before. So I know 53 is the correct number of um, letter. 11 is the correct number for legal which means 11 plus 53 equals 64. So that's all 64 pages. And in this regard, I'm just going to print, I'm just gonna print five pages. So do five pages, one through five, clear that, why are you, I don't know why that's all funky. All right, so click these here and then hit this and then it'll pump these five out over here and that's your letter. So that is easily, that's how you can quick and easily print letter and legal without having to spend money on that page separator. It's a little few, it's a few extra steps. I know some of y'all like, I ain't got time to be doing that. That's cool. You don't have to. But for those of you who might be on a tight budget, don't have the funds to pay all of that, did I accidentally kill that? Like I told you, when I'm doing this video stuff, it's processing slower. So, but as you see, you know what? I might have did something wrong on that. What did I do? Mm -mm -mm. All right, something was going crooked with that one. Okay, there we go. All right, let's try that sucker again. I don't know what happened there. All right, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So, like I was saying, a little blurry there. I don't know what to do there. All right, there we go. Back to normal. 
So, uh, get print all five copies. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Yep. One, two, three, four, and five. Yep, all five. There we go. So, print it all five. So, bottom line, that's how you're going to do it. Got any questions? Hit me up in the comment sections below. Um, just if you forget something, just look at the video again. But it shouldn't be that difficult for you to do if you have Adobe DC. I know the paid version, and I'm pretty sure the free version, or I'm hoping the free version, will allow you to do that. So if you got any questions, hit me up. But um, and if you think I forgot something to explain in here, let me know. I'll throw it in the community tab. All right. Talk to y'all later. Peace.